So let's export our maps and import them in 3ds Max. I want to go to texture set list and right click and let's edit the name. So this will be the cage and this will be the interior. So I know which one is which. So let's go to file export textures. So I want to set it to V-Ray. So scroll down to V-Ray. Also, I want to go to configuration and let's go to V-Ray. And because I want to export first the cage, let's uncheck this one. Let's make sure that this is for 4K. And I also like to go for default background color. I don't like the duration. So let's go back to configuration and then we can name this uh, cage. Let's copy and paste it to everyone. So we know the exact name. Okay, perfect. Now we just need to go to export. I'm going to go to desktop. I have a folder called Velociraptor and right click and I'm going to create a new map called cage. Select folder and just press export. So let's press OK. And now let's go back to export textures. Let's check interior, uncheck cage. Let's go configuration, V-Ray, and then let's call this interior. Let's press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V, copy and paste. Let's go back to export and let's set the destination and let's call it a new folder, interior. Select it and just press, make sure that it's 4K and just press export. And now I'm going to go to 3s Max where I have my head with some uh, simple lights and one HDRI. Let's press C to camera, right click, get a frame buffer. I did a quick test of clay rendering. All seems right. So let's go to Google. And for importing my uh, maps from Subset Pattern, I'm using a plugin that it's called Substance Painter to V-Ray NS. And then you can see this website Hocus Pocus so does France and just uh, press it. And then you can go to download. You will have the explanation on the website, how to use it, how to import. You can also import uh, multiple files as you can see it will bring all of the files from uh, Substance Painter but I like to put them on separate folder that's my own uh, working workflow and once the download is done you just open and also you will have the Substance tutorial and this is the file I have saved it to my desktop so this is the file and just drag it like this to uh, open area in 3s max. You'll have this uh, floating with the name and just choose folder and let's go to Velociraptor and let's check the cage and let's create shader. And now if we scroll down we can see that we have our first material created. So it's called cage care viewer material. So as you can see, we have all maps set already in the place that need to be. So we just need to, uh, let's minimize this one and let's drag it to our cage. And now let's bring our other maps. So let's go to Velociraptor and interior press OK and let's create shader. We can close this one for now. And as you can see, we have our second material. 
and we just need to apply it to our interior. Let's close our map editor and let's make a quick render production. For better representation from Sunset Painter, I do recommend to use the same light and also the same position. So obviously there are other ways of importing maps from Sunset Painter, but this is the way that I'm using and I think the results are pretty decent. Uh, you can always go to material and twist it as you wish. You can play with the settings or Fresnel or the power of the maps or decrease or increase the settings, etc. Until you find the uh, good settings that you need. Also, you can go and, as I said, you can use the same HDRI and the same position for better results. Um, so, that's it. See you next time. Take care.